Are you unsure about which seeds to start indoors in Zone 6A? Well, I was too. With a lot of research and some help from the Seed Time website, I figured out which things I need to seed start indoors and which ones I need to direct sow. And today we're going to talk about which ones we're going to start indoors. The first thing that I want to seed start indoors is anything that is a cool weather crop. So this year I am doing my lettuce, broccoli, and cabbage. The lettuce and the broccoli don't necessarily take a long time to reach maturity, but they don't thrive in the heat, so they need to be started, sprouted, and come to maturity before the heat of the summer hits. Now, if your vegetables are going to take around 100 days to reach maturity, you're going to want to start them indoors in zone 6A. We have about 150 days of a growing period. So that 50 days, you don't know when the first frost is gonna hit and you don't really know when the last frost is gonna be. So you don't want your plants to just now be coming to maturity right when the first frost is going to come. So the things that I am starting indoors that take around 100 days to get to full maturity are the lavender, cabbage, yarrow, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, onions, and the winter squash. I am starting these indoors so that they are ready to be planted out and be good and established after my last frost date, which is usually the beginning of May. This gives them a good head start and makes my harvest season a little longer. Now there are a few crops that I start that don't take around 100 days. They have a shorter growing period, but I like to start them indoors. That way my harvest season is longer and I can enjoy them longer than if I were to direct sow them right into the ground. The ones that I'm planting this year are peppers, strawberries, and huckleberries ground cherries, summer squash, and cucumbers. Last year, we started our garden a little too late and I didn't have any time to seed start indoors. So we had everything direct sowed into the garden after our last frost date. And our squash and zucchini and cucumbers did really well. We just only had a short harvest season. However, the tomatoes, the peppers, um, all of our leafy greens, all of those were not good. We had a very, very small harvest, if any at all. So this year we are absolutely starting our seeds indoors. If you want a quick reference for how many days it takes for some vegetables to come to maturity, I'll put them up on the screen so you'll know. If you're interested in what I direct sow in zone 6A, then subscribe and hang out and I will have that video out in the near future. Thanks for watching.